Hey Tankers, Togrim here. This video is part of a series of getting to purple or unicum stats. Today we're going to look at the E50. When loading in, the first thing I do is look at the composition of both teams. And as you can see, the other team has a lot more heavy tanks than us. Uh, not only that, they have tanks that are good at hull down and have strong turrets, so I decide to not go hill. Uh, I'm running out along the western line here to get some early spots and kind of see how their tanks are deploying on the western side of the map. The E50 has a rail accurate gun. Uh, the penetration for the silver ammo is a little low at 220, but because the gun is so accurate, you can reliably hit weak spots from range, which you'll see me do throughout the video. Um, the armor is also pretty good and allows you to shrug off a lot of potential damage. So I spot that T-34, he's hull down, so he's only exposing his turret, and as you can see when I come back out of here, I'm kind of probing his profile to see if I can get any shots on his soft hull, and the answer is no. So I'm shooting the top of his turret. Um, some of the American heavy tanks, they tend to have uh, very strong turrets except for the roof, which is a little bit thin, and you know, this is a little bit of a, a far shot, but you know, the ammo is relatively cheap, and I'm trying to get some early damage in the match. Uh, I take a shot here at an Object 704, who I just lit, um, also missed, but again, you know, it's, it's worth taking these shots early on, even if they're low percentage, uh, just to keep my gun active, and I catch the T-34 on the roof of his turret for a nice chunk of damage there, and you notice that I'm tucking into the building, I'm doing this periodically because they have an RD, and if I'm too far away from the building, I'll be exposed to RD fire, and then there I clip the T-34 again uh, on the top of his turret, and he's lost over half of his HP. And this is, you know, a great thing to be able to do um, with the, this tank because the gun aims so quickly and it's pretty accurate. And because the 704 and the T-34 have uh, pulled away out of line of sight, they've basically seeded me the first shot advantage. So if either of them decide to poke their noses around again and try to take a shot at me, I'm pre aimed I'm going to fire at them. Um, that said, you know, I'm paying attention to what's going on on the map and there are a ton of heavy tanks spotted up on hill and we just lost a tank on the hill. So you know, it's really important to try to read the game flow and figure out, you know, where you need to get your gun and be involved in. So I pull up along this D column here to hope to get some flanking shots on their tanks that are coming around the west side of the hill. I'm also being careful to avoid getting shot at or spotted from tanks on the south side. I missed that first shot there on an M48 tier 10 medium tank because I misjudged his speed. Uh, but as he slowed down now, that's an easy shot for me to make with this rail gun. I clip him for 421 damage, and he knows that I just hit him from the side of his turret, so he backs up, and I'm pre-aiming where he's going to come out if he decides to back up more, so I hit him again, uh, and then I pull forward just enough to keep my uh, firing lane open on him. I'm going to have to scooch forward a little more, and again, I have to be careful. If I get spotted from tanks to the south, they can shoot me through the windows of the buildings just to my right. All right, the M48 is exposed again. I get a nice shot there, and while he does spot me, you can see the light bulb because my hull was angled to the side. Uh, that shot harmlessly bounces off my front glazes. Right there, I get a money shot on a T1, uh, T110E5, so I tracked him and deal damage, and this uh, friendly bulldog and I managed to burn down about two-thirds of his hit points without taking any return fire. I've been spotted, so I quickly back up again. I've got my hull pretty angled, so... That shot also harmlessly bounces off of the front of my tank. Um, the E50, you know, the armor is roughly equivalent to a tier 8 heavy tank, the uh, Tiger II. So it's not amazing armor against tier 10s, but you can bounce some shots. And that M103, I caught him. Um, he wasn't hull down. His hull was exposed and, and fully side exposed. Um, so I caught him with a shot. And then that E100, I was aiming for the side of his turret when it was perfectly perpendicular to me for the uh, max chance to pen. Uh, but unfortunately, the shot went a little bit low uh, and bounced off his thick side armor. Now, I make a pretty important call right here. Our east flank is basically getting wrecked. So I decided to go back and help support our bank and prevent the flank from crumbling. And I asked that T-34 to come help me. Uh, it turns out he does zero damage to the match. Um, a player with, with pretty poor stats, which is reflective of poor decision making. He's been sitting in the back doing nothing and not contributing. Uh, right here, I catch an M46 Patton making the cardinal mistake of trying to cap in a, sen in a situation where it doesn't make sense. So he's fully exposed. He has no hard cover. I'm able to take these shots and uh, pull in tight to the building. So I'm side scraping and preventing my 
lower front glazes from being exposed. And right here I'm pre-aiming to where I think his track's going to be, catch him with a money shot. He's uh, temporarily immobilized until he repairs his tracks, but during that period of time it takes so long that my reload comes up and I can finish him off. Now, you know, a lot of games are actually lost uh, because players try to cap in situations where it doesn't make sense. In a small city map like this, it's hard to cap out the map because unless you're like, you know, the enemy tanks are super slow on the other side of the map because the map is so small. Right there, I clipped the M103 in the side of his turret. Uh, the 103 is a heavy tank, but the turret is not thickly armored. It rather relies on slope. So if you see an M103 and the turret is even turned slightly sideways, you can hit him on the, on the open side and penetrate easily. You know, that M46 that I just killed in their cap, you know, I just mauled him for like 1300 damage without taking any damage in return. If he had, uh, you know, tried to flank that that friendly Jagdpanzer, we would have been in big trouble. Here I'm side scraping, reversing out again, uh, taking another, another money shot through the front drive wheel of that um, 103, and the shot both uh, tracks him and penetrates him for the kill. Now this Jagdpanzer, you know, he's facing off against a pretty high health mouse, so I want to come around and help him. And again, I'm really thankful that both the 103 and the M46 on the other team um, didn't flank, flank that Jagdpanzer E100, because if they had and they killed him, uh, we probably would have lost this match. As I drive by, I shoot the mouse in the ass. That's about one of the only places, aside from the same spot on the front of his hull, where he's vulnerable. And you'll check out, like, his armor is so ridiculously thick that even when he's slightly angled like this, I try shooting him in the rear again, and it doesn't penetrate. Um, but what I've done is, you know, since I hit him once, I put him into one-shot territory for that Jagdpanzer E100, and he finishes him off there. Now, I can see that we have a friendly arty, uh, Bat Chat 155, who's kind of pushed really far down the south side of the map, and in a moment here, he's going to die. So, um, the M48 that I was shooting on the um, outside of the hill uh, must be nearby, so I'm driving down to that area of the map that the other player clicked. And I hit this player, I think, three or four times earlier in the match, so I know he's one-shottable. Um, he actually had a pretty good game, you know, despite running around for large chunks of the match at low health, he still did manage to deal over 4,000 damage. Um, but I get the kill there to, you know, help anchor a nice uh, come-from-behind win. I earned an Ace Tanker Mastery Badge um, in that battle, and I dealt about 5,500 damage with a few spots, three kills, and about 1,200 in assisted damage, so I, I suspect that the combination of the assisted damage with my own damage is probably what earned me the, the mastery badge, as well as you know doing damage to tier 10 tanks. Next up is the E50M. Let me know your questions and feedback, and uh, what other information you're looking for and trying to help you along your journey of getting to Unicum stats. Hope you enjoyed the video. Take care.